our vehicle can now move to the left or the right. Looks a little weird, but we'll fix that later. Problem is, we keep moving forward, and I want to be able to control that too. Just to make it a little bit more interactive. So, if we take a look at our input manager again, in the top left, if you click Edit or Unity, go to Project Settings. Select the Input option, and then make sure to expand the axes. In this case, I'll collapse our horizontal axis. You can see the vertical axis here with the name vertical and uses down for negative, up for positive. So we can do the same thing that we did with our horizontal input and do that with our vertical input. In our player controller script, we're going to create another variable. We'll make it public as well so we can see it. We'll make it a float because we need decimals and we'll call this forward input to control our movement forwards or backwards. Similar to what we did with our horizontal input, we'll create a new line. We use our forward input, and we're going to set this to our input manager. Dot get axis, use quotes to create a string literal, and then we use vertical. And then we will change in our translate method for moving forward. We'll just multiply by our vertical input our forward input, I should say. So now in Unity, if we close the project settings and then we press play, we should see hopefully our vehicle doesn't move at all. Cool. And then if I press the forward arrow, it moves forward. If I press the backwards arrow, it moves backwards. Same thing with W moves forwards, S moves backwards. And then I can even move forwards and move to the left at the same time. I can move to the right with the arrow key. I can even go backwards, make it really challenging for myself, can't see the boxes. And then we still have this weird issue where our vehicle can move side to side, but we'll fix that later. But we've got player movement down, so that's really handy. Now we can give our players full control of our game. An especially cool thing to note about the input manager is that this can actually understand input from a variety of different places. So for example, if your player was using a controller, then you can actually get the input, for example, from their joysticks to know when they're moving to the left or right or forwards or backwards. So the input manager is a very helpful way to be able to get information from the different kinds of input, whether it's a keyboard or it's your mouse or it's a controller different things to make your life a little bit easier. So what you're gonna do in your player controller script, create a new variable, a public float variable called forward input. In your update method, you can add a new line of code similar to our horizontal input. We'll call it forward input and we make sure to get the axis of our vertical axis and then in our transform.translate where we are moving forward, we'll just multiply everything by our forward input. And then in Unity, when you press play, you can test out your movement in your vehicle. Now it's your turn.